What's up guys, Knife Circus here. I haven't made a video in a while, just checking back in. So in this video, I basically wanted to talk to you guys about this awesome opportunity for coders to win some free prizes by using their coding knowledge and answering some questions. Basically, Dot Tech Domains is having this competition where you can go to their website and they have different levels of questions and the more questions that you answer, the more prizes you're eligible to win. That's like the whole basic idea of it, but in this video we're going to be answering some of those questions, trying to win some free prizes, and we'll just see what happens. So the first thing you do is go to the website breakthecode.tech. So here we have a little bit of an explanation, break the code. It's a Friday night, you've been sitting in your room for the past 12 hours, same spot, same position. You're eating terrible takeout food and listening to your favorite songs from 2009. 2020 sucks. It does. It's like being trapped in the matrix, but worse. So at Dot Tech, we decided to take things into our own hands. How? By launching Break the Code, a set of challenging games with prizes galore for you. We know you don't like being comfortable and bored, so for Black Friday 2020, we've created a gaming contest that's right up your alley with 12, six, with six distinct game rooms. Break the Code will put your logic, knowledge, and creativity to the test. Solve them, and you will be rewarded with prizes that are on every techie's Christmas wish list. The only question is, do you have what it takes to break the code? And then you click start game. Before we start that, I'm just going to scroll down and look at some of the prizes, because the prizes are pretty sweet. The grand prizes, you can win a $5,000 gaming rig, which would be awesome, because I would love that. I only have a laptop, so I would love to have a gaming rig. That would be sweet. <laughs> you can also win a $100 Amazon voucher, PlayStation 5, the new released PS5, an 11 inch iPad Pro, 13 inch MacBook Pro that I am currently using, but I would love another one oculus quest 2 vr headset vr headsets are sick <laughs> and a 49 inch samsung curved monitor that's a big monitor all right so let's just hop into it and try to break the code first things first i guess i'll i don't know pick github authorize all right now we are in let's answer some questions Enigma. What does that mean? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Hint? Give me a hint. I have to share it to get a hint. Click. Qwerty. Ronald Wayne. That's correct! <laughs> I have no idea how that works. Divide the squares into four divisions that have exactly the same number, that have exactly the same shape, number of squares, and an even amount of light and dark green tiles. Note that the red tiles are neither on nor off. So like, oh, there you go. That's kind of cool. I wonder who coded that. That seems fun to code. Um, so, 6 times 6 is 36 minus the 4 red ones, that is 32, so there should be 16 light green and 16 dark green, let me count them, that seems right, so now we need 16 on one side, and we need to have 16 on the other side, no, we need one side to have 8 of each and the other side to have 8 of each, and they need to be the same shape? and the same number of squares? I feel like that's just a little difficult to do, is it not? Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both sides are the same shape. They have the same number of squares. They have an even number of light and dark green tiles. This should be correct, right? Why? <laughs> four divisions, that's what it was. Four divisions. Ah, I see now. There we go. Not just half. Half and half. Missed that part. Okay. So then there should be four of each in each, right? So... If I go like that... Like that... Like that... Like that. What happens? Nope. <laughs> Okay, 
I have found a flaw in the design of this game. <laughs> I can't figure this out. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me try another one. The name the world's first computer bug. The world's first computer bug. I actually know this. It was a moth. It was just there was a moth in their computer. That's why they're called computer bugs. I just knew that. I don't know. <laughs> what is the website of the popular YouTuber who built a working lightsaber? I have no idea. Let me Google that. <laughs> working lightsaber. YouTuber. Hacksmith. All right. Hacksmith. It, I would assume it's dot tech, right? It is. There you go. Look at that. Hacksmith dot tech. Sick website. There you go. Uh, hacksmith dot tech. Correct. There we go. That's two. That's actually three, I think, total. Which breakthrough health technology was out for blood? That's another Google. I have no idea. Start up out for blood. Whoops. Health technology startup. Theranos? Is it Th Theranos? It kind of sounds like Thanos. That's right. There we go. We got another one. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to win a $100 Amazon gift card, apparently. What is this company called before it changed? Is that Atari? That's Atari, right? Or am I wrong? I'm... I was born in 1999, I have no idea. Is that wrong? Oh, it's wrong? What is it? Is it? Yeah. Atari logo? So is it... So are they asking... Atari old name? What? What was this company called before it changed its name? And it's not Atari. Can I get a hint? By clicking on this and then not actually sharing? It gives me the hint. <laughs> this logo was featured predominantly in the sci-fi film Blade Runner. What? Blade Runner? Infogrames? Infogrames? Is that correct? Wrong. Infogrames is not correct. I have no idea. I am so unbelievably stuck. Let me call my father. <laughs> My dad is old. He'll probably know. <laughs> hey, Dad. Um, I'm just kind of curious. I, uh, I'm doing this, like, question thing. And basically the question is, what is this company... What was this company called before it changed its name? And then it's a picture of the Atari logo, I'm assuming. What was this company's name be before they became Atari? It doesn't... What was this company's... What was this company called before it changed its name? And then a picture of the Atari logo. So it's, it's the three lines, like, kind of... Um, yeah, and then they, like... A, straight line, L kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. In March... Th in March 1998, the Atari name and assets were sold to Hasbro Interactive. I don't think it's Hasbro, but let me try. Hasbro... Nope. I got nothing. It's, yeah, it's a toughie, eh? See what it, did you look at the Wikipedia page? I am on it. Formerly Tramel Technology? Tramel? Where's that? Uh, I don't know. T-R-A-M-E-L. 
Trammell. That is incorrect. Then I got nothing. That's so... Merged into JT Storage Assets, later acquired by Hasbro. So JT Storage would be the, the last option that I have available. Not working. Then I got nothing. I don't know. I don't know how to help you. That sucks. All right. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Yes, sure I tried. I tried and failed. The moral is never tried. Yes. <laughs> Bye. So that didn't work. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because, like, with all of my college work and everything, I could always just call my dad and he would always help me. So. <laughs> Finally stumped him. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm stuck. Okay, I have no idea. I am stuck on this one, so we're going back to the one with the, uh. <laughs> Back to the squares, because I have no idea. <laughs> so I don't know if, like, I'm stupid. <laughs> or what it is, but I can't really figure this out whatsoever. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. I've been sitting here for 15 minutes, and I feel like if I sit here any longer, I might go crazy, but I cannot figure this out. So if you guys can figure this out, and send me a message on Twitter, because I would love to know the answer. If you want, I can even give you a shout out if you're interested in that kind of thing. <laughs> But other than that, these questions are pretty hard, so you should go check out this contest, because if you can answer the questions, you could win some prizes. So go do it. So go check out the link in the description. If you can beat all six levels, which I didn't even finish one in this video, then you could win a gaming rig worth $5,000. And it's not just a contest where anyone can win. It actually takes knowledge, and it takes some skill. So if you were to get there and get yourself entered into this competition, there's a good chance you might actually win. So, you have nothing to lose. Go check it out. Link's in the description. You can also find the subscribe button down there and the like button. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll come back with another video soon. Thank you. Peace out, guys.